rehabilitate movement after stroke, such as getting someone walking again, really does need repetition of practice to drive that motor recovery in the brain. At the moment, we need multiple therapists to assist patients when they have, say, a very severe stroke and they can't stand up for themselves. And so this is very time intensive and places physical strain on the therapist. AI methods and robotics are becoming an essential toolkit behind neurorehabilitation technologies. Our main motivation is to help people recover from neurological injury and regain functional independence, that is, enabling people walk again or regain use of their arms and hands in their everyday activities. In our field of research, we adopt a highly transdisciplinary approach to working with AI and its potential to revolutionize models of care. It is important that clinicians, engineers, computer scientists, patients and other stakeholders work closely with each other to make sure that we're targeting the right clinical needs with this technology. So this is not just a technology problem. What we're trying to address is a real clinical need and for that we need a transdisciplinary group of people working towards that solution. I do not think artificial intelligence should be the solution to our problems, but rather as a tool that can help us deliver the best quality of healthcare in close integration with human expertise. The research that we're doing here has great potential to make a step change in the way rehabilitation occurs worldwide, both from the assessment side of things, what types of treatment, the dose that's done to help prognosis and ultimately help with improving people's lives. The big problems of today require more complex interdisciplinary solutions. The UQ AI Collaboratory brings the right people together at the right time to solve the right problems.